All right, we're back with Chris Anthony from Warren Miller Entertainment. Th those were great clips. Yeah. Another fantastic film. Tell us about one, one of your favorite moments in this film. Yeah, the trailer looks pretty good, but it doesn't really embrace the entire film. So you got to come to the film and check it out, because there is a lot of amazing stuff in there, a lot of in incredible locations. There's Antarctica, Davenport's up there in uh, Alaska, and um, there's just locations everywhere, including uh, my home little town. I know it's in a different place, but um, I got to shoot at home this year, and uh, we actually were able to time it with a powder day. And so what would make it even more special is that since it was close to home, close to studio, and we could do this, but we pulled out an old camera called a Photosonic. Yeah. And it's, it's about that big, and it's hooked onto what looks like a car battery, and the thing shoots 350 frames per second. So that, that last shot in the trailer was just it's super, super slow-mo. But to set that shot up takes about 30 minutes, you know, so you, know, you spend an entire, we spent two days to shoot these super slow-mo, beautiful shots where the snow is just coming right around you and everything, and, um, it, you know, two days to get, you know, maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds of film, right. but that's the, the level of detail that they go to in these films. That's awesome, and like yeah. we talked about, that's what gets everybody psyched for skiing, and it's yeah. going to be a great year, and this is help, helps everybody to get ready for it. Um, I know you're involved with several several youth programs, uh, SOS Outreach, Reach, and uh, other youth initiative projects. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that because I think that's really cool. You know, I, I guess with my success of what I'm doing, the big reward has been people asking me, "Will you be involved in this? Will you be involved in that?" And I sort of what I did was now combined everything and I wanted to get really focused so I created my own mission statement and then created my own youth initiative and then under that umbrella I've teamed up with several entities one of them being SOS Outreach and what SOS Outreach does is basically get um, kids out into the wilderness out under the slopes you know skiing riding climbing hiking and it's been neat because I've been able to go into the schools talk to the students, get them, you know, to start thinking about dreaming and chasing down goals and working hard towards those goals. And, uh, and I get to take them on a little journey around the world using past clips out of the Warren Miller movie, and we get them all fired up. And, uh, and then I'll sign them up for this program. So it's been a neat partnership. I partnership with, like, SOS Outreach, First Ascents, the Children's Hospital, and um, it, it's been great to be able to go raise money and then actually activate that money and it goes pretty much almost directly to the kids. That is awesome. I mean contributing to youth is is awesome in general but mm -hmm. creating skiers for life is it's a good thing. I mean it's a good thing. It's obviously been good for us. Yeah, and, it uh, creates good people. Yeah, <laughs> people need to do it. That's, yeah. that's for sure. Um, what's next for Chris Anthony? Uh, well, a lot of projects are in the in the can right now. I actually just uh, helped the Warren Miller guys produce a an instructional DVD that they have not done in years. So they partnered up with a, a bunch of PSI instructors, and I got to sort of be the overall host of that. And um, I also have some out to some stuff in there, like some um, film studies. Um, so it's a really neat pr uh, DVD called Get Schooled. Uh, project that I'm working on passionately right now is I teamed up with the Colorado Ski Museum and I, we created a budget there and what I want to do is bring in money so anybody can actually go to the Colorado Ski Museum's website and find this and, and donate and be actually part of my film project so you can be a producer on it and if maybe you're, you're a producer on it we'll have a red carpet you know launch of it next year so anybody that contributes to this but um, I want to go and document the 10th Mountain Division, and, I, and I've picked out this one period of time, 1943, before the guys were deployed to Italy, a few of them went and did what was called the Trooper Traverse, from Camp Hale to Aspen, and I want to go with a 
couple skiers in the Warren Miller crew and retrace that. And as we're doing it, we ski, of course, our excuse to ski, but we flash back to their story, tell their story, look at them, go find some of these guys that are still around and interview them. And we produce a long documentary piece that's um, educational, the museum can use, maybe we can get it onto the History Channel or something like that, but it's an educational piece. And then from that, a smaller Warren Miller segment that will be featured in the film. So that's, that's my goal for this year, along with a thousand other things. That's awesome. I mean, we really appreciate your enthusiasm and passion and respect for the sport and sharing that with everybody. I think it's great. And, you know, this film, Wintervention, is another in a great line of legendary Warren Miller Entertainment films. And to have you narrate that and, and talk with us and share you yourself as a person is, is awesome. Um, so thank you very much for coming to Grand County. Absolutely. And, uh, if people want to get more information about Warren Miller, uh, warrenmiller.com or Chris Anthony and everything and more than, than he's talked about, it's chrisanthony.com. Yeah. Uh, but thank you very much. You know, Warren Miller has been well known for taking us to the best spots with the best gears and the best people. And uh, really, really appreciate your time and your effort. Yeah, definitely. Come check out the film. It's a good one. Mm -hmm.